Rodney McRae, the new uh, manager of Gannon Swifts. How does that feel? Feels good. Um, obviously, I've, I've probably missed the place over the, the last few years. I, I decided to move on a, a while ago and go to Coleraine, and, um, which maybe didn't work out. But, but since then, I've had less, less in Coleraine. It was a good experience too. But um, since then, I've, I've sort of missed being around the place. I've, I've, I've missed the, the, I've missed my social side of things along with my friends, seeing my friends, um, missed on Yen United Youth, so it's good to be home. When you left the club in 2018, did you always have a feeling that you would be back? I always thought at some stage you would return. Um, I don't know when, I, I would never have put a date on that, but there was always a feeling that it's, it's, it's close to my heart. It's a, it's a club that's always been close to my heart. Uh, I more or less grew up here. so. He always, he always envisaged that at some stage you, you would return to Stanmore Park. Uh, you were managing um, one of the biggest clubs in the country, in Glentoran, and you were doing a great job. So how tough of a decision was it to leave? It was very tough. Um, loved my time at Glentoran. Uh, huge thanks to Mick McDermott and Paul Miller for bringing me in and, and giving me the opportunity. Uh, a fantastic club, a massive club. Uh, supporters demand so much, um, and rightly so as well, because... Uh, Glentoran should be de- delivering success, um, but it, it was enjoyable. It was a good experience. We ended up getting European football, and, and it, it was nice to go out in the high. But it was just a case of um, an opportunity to come up here. Um, my father's a brave age, shall we say, um, and he's he's taken a little bit of a step back from Dungan United Youth, and he needs a wee bit of support for that. And being able to combine Dungan United Youth and Glentoran was always going to be very difficult whenever. The demands of Glentorn are, are so great and the demands of the United Youth are so great too. So it was a case of, of having to make a tough decision and I've say I've decided that I I come back and give me that a hand. Was there a lot of thinking involved or did you make the decision pretty quickly? No, I've thought I've been thinking about it from even before the season was finished. Because uh, I knew I knew that he was he, he was he was getting he was getting to the stage where he needed a little bit of help and I, I knew it at, at that stage so I was thinking about it from the season was over and Listen, I maybe should have made it a little bit sooner after the season finished, but I was I was still deliberating and I was still trying to add things up and and seeing what the best outcome would be for everybody. And ultimately, I wanted to make a decision before before Glen Torn started their pre-season, so it would give the new manager an opportunity to work with them properly um, up until the, the Euro, their European fixture. It's been a tough season for Dingan Swifts, maybe a tough couple of seasons. Um, what are your goals and aims uh, looking ahead to the season coming up? Goals and goals and aims here is to is to try and put smiles in people's faces and if we put smiles in people's faces we'll be doing something up we'll be doing something right. Um, obviously we've conceded a lot of goals we want to try and reduce that. Um, we haven't scored enough goals so we have to we have to focus on maybe scoring more goals. Um, but listen, we d- I'm looking forward to to trying to to try and build the squad and try and get a squad of players back in for the start of pre season that. That we want to work with and, and players who want to be here and want to represent this great football club and, and want to drive it forward. So it's a case of um, it's a case of knuckling down and, and trying to find ways of improving. Uh, and your last spell here, you delivered the league cup. Um, do you think those those days of challenging for silver are gone, or are you confident that uh, the Swiss can challenge again? There's, I don't think there's any chance I would have come back to them again at Swiss if I didn't if I didn't believe they had an opportunity of challenging for silver. Um, Probably the league is well out of our grasp in terms of the quality that's within the league and and, and the finances that's within the league. But there's nothing to stop them getting Swiss winning winning a cup or, or winning another major trophy and and certainly that's an ambition of mine. It was a great feeling winning the Bet McLean League Cup. Um, there was great celebrations, there's great memories. So we want to create more of those. Mm-hmm. Um, do you see a, a busy summer of transfer activity then? I think so. Um, obviously, there's a lot of players that are out of contract, um, so we have to we have to address that. Uh, we have to look at where where we can improve. We can we have to look at what players are avail- what what players are available and, and who we can utilise or who we can bring in to strengthen the squad. So I do see it as a busy summer. Um, it's not going to be one where it's going to be massive changes, but I do see that there'll be there'll be comings and goings. There's obviously. Um the, the financial side of things um, and it is going to be challenging for Degan Swift to bring in players but what can you what's your selling point to potential players here? I think uh, the facility um, whenever you sit here and you look around the facilities that we have here at Degan Swift I think that's a selling point um, I think in terms of how we maybe try to play the game would be a selling point I think um, 
I think players in the past who I've worked with as well. Maybe we can we can dip into those at other clubs, and maybe we can try to attract attract players to to come to Dungannon Swift. Um, I do believe we we have the capabilities. I think if we put the right people in place in terms of staff, um, that also attracts players. Uh, so it's it's a case of trying to find whatever way we can to be as competitive as we possibly can on the football pitch. And listen, I know our finances isn't as big and as great as other clubs, but we just can't use that as an excuse. We have to we have to look at what we can get out of the players that we have and we have to try and succeed with those players that we have. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, you've managed two of the biggest uh, teams in the country in, in Glentoran and um, Coleraine. What have you learned from those experiences and what can you bring to the table now that you know you have those experiences? Listen, you're always learning, whether it's good or bad, you're always learning, you're always you're always picking up advice. I learned a lot at Glentoran. Um, I learned a lot at Glentoran working with Mick um, on Monday. Um, Mick has a has a great background. He's a, he's a, he's a he's 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 worked all over the world. So I'm I managed to dip into that and and get little ideas and listen. He, he, at those clubs, it's massively about winning. Dungannon Swiss has to be massively about winning too. Um, especially Glentoran, it's it's all about winning. It's not about anything else. So um. Listen, we have to we have to try and take little bits out of everything that we've learned at those two clubs, and we have to try and throw them into what we have here, and and try and push this thing forward. Thanks very much, Rodney. Thanks, Darren.